and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. For today's video, I'm going to be trying on almost every item of clothing I own. I say almost because I was originally going to try on every item of clothing. But there is some clothes that I know definitely want to keep, they definitely fit me and they can stay in my wardrobes. I've been buying a lot more clothes recently and I'm running out of hangers, know where to put it. And then I'm like, what about all the clothes I already have? Like, do I wear it still? Do I not wear it? Does it go away in the hands? Does it still fit me? Basically, this has got to be a wee closet clear out. Also, please don't mind the stuff in this. Um, I am having a really bad flare up today. I've taken three antihistamines. None of them are working. There's supposed to be one a day. I've took three. It's not working. A steam shower. Didn't work. Um, nothing is working today. But let's get on with today's video. Let's start with wardrobe one. This is my half of the wardrobe. So I think we will start with pyjamas. Hopefully I can get rid of some. I'm, oh, sometimes I feel like I can be a hoarder because of nostalgic reasons. Like I can already see like three pairs of Christmas pyjamas that I don't want to get rid of. Let's try and get rid of some things. Oh yeah, and there's another onesie up there that I just know I don't want to get rid of. Watch me not get rid of anything. <laughs> Um, no, well, right. First set I know that I'm going to keep. This wasn't originally a pajama set. This was just a lounge set from Shein, and it's just a wee black t-shirt with black trousers. So I know for certain I'm keeping those because that is probably the only long pair of loungewear that I actually reach for. I got these pajamas this Christmas actually. Um. Nah, got these at Christmas as well. Right, you know what? No, I'm going to wait to see if I wear them this Christmas. If not, they're going away because they are cute. Last year's Christmas pyjamas, cannot get rid of these. The Grinch, I mean, come on, cannot get rid of those. Not yet. Not at all. Oh, for goodness sake. These navy stripy ones. But I'm trying to think, do these ride up my arse now? But I think they do. They can go out as well. These ones, I've had these for absolute ages. These used to be my fake tan trousers. Had these for quite a while. And get rid of these. Three pairs were, were doing good. And that was the top to go. And then we have me and Harry's first Christmas together. Christmas pyjamas. And we got Morty the matching dog coat, even though he's a cat. So I'm keeping those. Sorry, I knew that would happen. I want to keep all my Christmas. Pajamas, not too bad. We got rid of three, not too bad. They can go back up and the Christmas ones they will be staying as well. Right, short pajamas, let's see where we're at with short pajamas. I know for a fact all these ones at the top are getting kept because these are like the Primark little sets and the Asda sets. I have this pair, I got them for Benidorm. They're like silky and a wee pattern on them and I really like to top. Like how cute is this? I think I'll keep that. I just got these this year. So I think I will keep. Okay, so I have these wee cactus ones. But I want to say these are the ones with a hole in the bum. Yes, cactus ones have got a hole in the bum. That gives me a perfect opportunity to get rid of them. And then again, I have a pair of Grinch ones. I'm not getting rid of these. I love the Grinch. My favourite Christmas movie. I'm not getting rid of my Grinch pyjamas. I will wear these this Christmas. Short pyjamas are looking a bit better as well. And then we have t-shirts, like sleeping t-shirts, which I think I'm going to actually keep all of them because I think I'll wear every single one of them. Um, I'm quite sensory based when it comes to sleeping. Like I've got a favourite like sleep shirt and these all kind of have the same material apart from this one but I like this material as well especially for when I've got fake tan on. So I, I think I'm going to keep every single one of these. So now I think I'm going to try on all my t-shirts. My like t-shirts first. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I'm going to have to shut that window, it's way too loud. Cannot wait, cannot wait to get a new house that's not on a fucking main road. Right, Cruella's Vile top from Misguided. Had this on a couple of times, I know I like it, but I go through stages, right? Do I like big logo t-shirts like this anymore? And I'm like, yes, and then I'm like, no. So, I don't really know. I do like it though. 
and I, oh, I need to really get out of the mindset, right? I'm like, oh, I couldn't wear this to work. You don't work every single day, Rhiannon. You, you have a life outside of work. Don't know why I bought this. When I first discovered Shein, right, I used to buy some ridiculous things. And I don't know why I've not got rid of it before. I've always said I would wear it for something, but I haven't, and I really think now is the time to just get rid of it because oh, it's really cool though. <laughs> But, I, I, nah, I'm not gonna wear it. This one is a fairly newish top, but the fabric is brutal. So this is just a plain white top, um, and it says, sunrise in the east, keep on going, never give up, never say, never say die. Actions speak loud on words. Like, this is <laughs> the thing about Shein, you have some funky sayings. The back, it's quite cool, but this top, as a fucking sweat fest. So for that reason, and that reason only, I'm gonna let it go. Goodbye, never should die, but that top's gonna die. So this came as a party of two piece. Um, you get the cycling shorts with it, black and white. I like it, I pair it with a nice pair of flared trousers, top tan when I'm going for a black and white theme. Um, I'll keep this one. Not gonna try this one on, this is one of my most worn white tops at the moment, black and white stripes from Shein. This one I'm conflicted with, right? I absolutely love this shirt. Very oversized, but it's a similar material to that last one I've just thrown out. But not to the same extent, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because that other one had a big bit on the back. Really big, baggy, oversized. Dress it up, dress it down. Um, and obviously it looks like it's inside out with a hem in. Nah, I'm keeping this one, like this one. Right, this is a bodysuit. I will keep this. Perfect little off-white bodysuit. Right, not gonna try this one on either. This is also a party of set and one of my most worn tops. Right, this is a bad boy that really annoys me, right? Plain, simple, white v-neck shirt. But, it just looks know the best, right? It's quite short. The material isn't the best material, and oh, it's not even picking up on camera, but I've had this shirt on like probably twice, and it's all bobbly already. Like, oh, I know I can shave it. I shave my cushions to get the bobbles off that, but I'm just like, do I really want to do this? And the fabric, I just, I don't know. I hum and haw about getting rid of this, and then I wear it one day, and I'm like, nah, really like it still. Just a t-shirt with abstract faces on it. Nah, I think I'll keep this one still. A few white t-shirts, less. Next one to grey. Um, I always get halfway through filming a video and I'm like, is this boring? But you know what, I've wanted to film this video for a while. It makes me more productive, so if you don't like it, you can leave. Okay. Another one. This is also part of a set. I wore the set the other day, right? But I don't know if I wore it because I wanted to or I was wearing it because I haven't worn it in a while. I'm going to keep this one for another while to see if I wear that full set again. Then we have this one. This is a confliction one. I don't know if this should go into like my sleep shirts. It's a dress, but it's also not long enough. Like if I was to lift my arms up, so it's a long t-shirt. Love it, but I don't know if it should go into my sleep tops. I think that's what's going to have to happen. See, this has got to be part of my problem, right? Because already I'm thinking, well, I'll put this into my loungewear, because it is loungewear. The bottoms for this, hold on a minute. These used to be ideal to wear at my work because like when I was on the floor you have to be comfy. Like I used to rock up to my work like this and it used to look like I was wearing pyjamas. Obviously now I can't do that. But they're going to stay in the wardrobe but just a different part of the wardrobe. Right. That's got to stay in the loungewear section. Grey's not really a colour I reach for anymore. I think this is just such a basic. I'm just going to keep it. I have a black t-shirt, this exact same style, um, and I wear that quite a lot. Babe, oh, I'm going to keep it just for a basic, but I always get the fear of wearing grey because, well, I'm a sweaty girl. Last one we have, obviously haven't worn this in a while because it's been summer and it's still absolutely roasting. This will be the autumn winter style so obviously it's a wee turtleneck i'm gonna keep it um because autumn and winter's coming up 
I mean, I'm not excited about the rain and the snow. I'm just excited about Halloween and fall colours. Fall colours? Ooh, autumn colours. <laughs> I'm not American. Don't call it fall. Right, plain black vest top. Wear this a lot under different tops, so I'll keep that, not even trying it on. And here's the black basic long line top that I was just talking about. I wear this quite a lot, so I'm going to keep it. Another wee strappy top, this is Zara. Didn't get this too long ago, but I wear it quite a lot, so I'm keeping it. Of course, camera battery. Black swimsuit that I use as a black bodysuit. Gonna keep that because that's fairly new and I wear it quite a lot. This was bought, was it last year? Was it this year? Maybe this year. The start of this year for like a night out and I needed it to pair with a pair of funky trousers. I do like it, it's got biggie and I think that's P Diddy, I think, on it. I do like it. Nah, I'm keeping it. I bought it this year, I'm going to keep it, I will wear it, I know I will, and if I don't, in the next six months, this will be leaving the wardrobe, and you will see that in the next video. Watch me forget to film the same video in six months time. This one, I've not even had on yet. You would have seen this in my Asda haul. Not even had it on yet, but I better get my use of it before summer's finished, because it's quite a summer top. See, I like this. It's big, it's oversized. It has an American flag on it, which, <laughs> growing up, I was obsessed with anything with an American flag on it. Now, not so much. But, it says Malibu, it's got an American flag, it's black, it's oversized, it's big. Oh, this is my problem. I find one positive with it, and just keep it. This one, on the other hand, oh. it's the same fabric, it's big, it's black, it's oversized, but just the print on it. Like, I used to be obsessed with it, wear it all the time, and I still love it. It's like that celestial kind of print. I love it, but am I going to wear it? Realistically, Diana, are you going to wear this kind of print again? Probably not. Right, these next three shirts I'll be wearing in autumn and winter. I've got a polo neck, a turtleneck, then, right, actually this one, will I wear this? It's very cropped. No, I'm not a crop top kind of gal. I think it was part of a set, but it's really cropped, you know. Like, I know I wear high waist jeans and stuff. Um, I like the sleeves on it, but nah. I think it's time to let go of this one. And then we have this one. I really like this one. Right, I think I'll keep this one for another autumn winter and see how much I wear it. I only have one orange top. It's a bodysuit, I've worn it quite a lot, I'm going to keep it because I probably will wear it a lot more. On to the brands. This isn't that old, but it looked unreal on the model. Um, and I've worn it a few times, but yeah, no, I'm getting rid of this. I hate it. Oh my god. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. This is actually the top to go with the cycling shorts I'm wearing at the moment. Which I'll keep, the fabric on it is great. But yeah, this is how the set should look, but I like to mix and match. Another one for autumn and winter. We will see if I wear it this autumn and winter. This one I had on in my last video. Tennis ball, kind of top. Yeah, like this one, so this is getting kept as well. We have pink. Okay. I hum and haw about getting rid of this all the time. It's like a wee waffle material, like light jumper. I do really like it, but realistically, am I gonna wear it again? Probably not, I think I've had it on a totally two times and I've had it for probably two years now, so I think it's time to go. Okay, then we have this ribbed oversized top. It's part of a set. I do wear this set quite regularly, so I will keep that. I think this is gonna be the top that I do keep. Yep, I'm keeping this one. I like this one. Um, green isn't always my colour, but I like having the wee poppy green if I were going to wear it. And it's a big, comfy, oversized t-shirt. This is the same um, as the grey set I had, so I'm going to keep it and put it in the loungewear category, and here's the bottoms to go with it. They are comfy and I will see if I wear them as kind of loungewear. I'm not going to try on all my shirts because I have just recently 
done a few videos of like work shirts and stuff so I'm going to keep the majority of these. I need to give this one a few more tries because I've only had it on once, it's so cropped. This one I've never had on, it's from Primark. I only bought it this year, I'm going to get another chance and if not, it's going. Yep, okay, this one, this is going to go. <laughs> that one is going to go because I can't style it. I really don't know what to do with it. I had this one on for the first time the other week and I really liked it. This is part of a set. I wore that at Christmas. Um, this one I think I'm going to try and sell. This is also a part of a set. Um, I wore the trousers out and I kind of wore this open. Uh, I just know I'm never going to wear it again so I'm going to try and sell it because it is pretty brand new. Last section we have, oh my god, <laughs> so long. I'm falling. I thought I'd fallen. Hey. I have not long bought this. I'm not going to try it on, I wear it quite regularly. It's just a black basic long dress. And then we have this jumpsuit. I think, like realistically, am I going to wear it out again? That's the thing. I think I'm going to move this into another wardrobe because I do like it. I probably will wear it again, even if I wear it on holiday or something. Um, so I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to put it in a different wardrobe. This is basically brand new as well. You would have seen this in my Asda haul black ribbed jumpsuit I will keep you and then this I wore this in my last video like this is so old it's ripped as well it needs a few wee stitches but it's old but I only had it on once before I never wore it again until my last video so I think I'm going to keep it because I actually really like the way it looks on my body this one I think I'm going to get rid of I wore this in my last video as well but I kind of just put it on um, to see if I liked it and I really don't. I don't like the way it sits. Um, I bought it last October for going to London for my travel outfit but I don't like the way it sits on my body. This one I will never get rid of. My classic new look jumpsuit. I absolutely love it. Not getting rid of it. I think I'll keep this one for another at least six months. This one I'm going to get rid of. Again don't like the way it sits on my body. Not wore it um, in a while now. So I think it's time to go. I love these big denim dungarees. I will be keeping those. I've worn this a few times, but I still think I've got plenty more wear than that. So I'll be keeping that. Fairly new dress, but again, I think I'm going to put it in a different wardrobe. Or would I wear that with like tights and boots? You know, it's staying in the main wardrobe for another while. Again, this is a pretty new dress from my Asda haul. It's staying. This is like one of my basic classic dresses. It's long sleeve dress. Love it. Not getting rid of it. This one loved when I first got it, but it just doesn't sit nice on me now. Like I'll try it on. I know I'm going to get rid of this. It just uh, I don't know. And I just didn't like the way it fit my body. See, no, nah, it's round here. It gets just a wee bit too tight. Um. You know, I'm not even going to try and put the other button in, but don't like the way it sits on my body. I mean, if I lost weight, that would be great, it would sit nicely, but that's not going to happen overnight, so there's no point keeping my dress and not going to bloody wear. I'm quite proud of this pile we've got going on here. And then this last one, I'll try it on, but I think this is going to be... I'm going to get rid of it as well. I've had it on once, and I really did like it when I first got it, but I don't know, it's like denim. <laughs> Oh Christ, no, you know, do that. Right, just try it on. Get it on. It's denim and it's a bit restrictive. Now I've got it on, I really like it. What the fuck? No, this would happen. No, I don't. No, I don't. Let's try and get it off now. Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. Whew. Right. Ow. Nah. Goodbye to you. Right, there's my pile so far and the big pile of empty hangers. Oh, right, I'm going to put the clothes I'm keeping back in the wardrobe and then we can move on. We can move on to all the bottoms because there's a lot. Let's now move on to trousers. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this part because I can't be bothered trying them all on. Do you know what the problem is? I've not had my dinner yet. It's ten past seven, I've not had my dinner yet and I'm quite hungry so my plan is 
get through all these trousers, go and get dinner and then we can move on to the wardrobe in the other room. So let's Oh, let's get these trousers out. I already know I'm gonna keep these. Everyone needs a pair of grey joggers. Grey. They do the job. Comfy. Right, I'm keeping these. These are pretty new and they are a set from Shein. You would have actually seen that in one of my recent videos. The only thing I don't like about them don't have pockets. And you know how I feel about trousers that have pockets. Like, what is the bloody point? I like these. These are a bit big for me. But I just tie them. <laughs> and it came as a set for the hoon. It was like £40. And I was like, for that? But yeah, I like them. Brown joggers. I have the hoodie to go with them. Keeping these. Oh, I absolutely loved them when I first got them. Absolutely loved them. They're like flared joggers. I absolutely loved them. But now I'm just like, I don't know. I really don't know. Right, I'm going to leave these out. I need to decide properly on these. These are actually bottoms to go with a t-shirt I'm wearing today. Mm, nah, I'm not even wanting them on. No, I'm not enjoying the way they feel. I'm going to keep the top, but I'm going to get rid of the joggers. And these don't have pockets either, so goodbye. These, oh my god, I loved these when I first got them for H&M, R.I.P. There is no H&M <coughs> in my shopping centre anymore. Oh Christ. Right, no, <laughs> again I have another pair of these flared joggers, these are like excessively flared, these have pockets though, these are like excess flared, oh but see I like them as well, I like them on their own, am I going to wear them, Bian are you going to wear these? Probably not, I'll probably wear the green ones more than the grey ones, okay that's the joggers, complete, first side of the trousers. And the bottoms to go with one of the tops that I say I like them, like these cigarette trousers. A pair of leggings, another pair of leggings. I actually haven't had these ones on yet. Workout leggings. Right, so these are like chino style trousers. I can't think if I've actually had them on this year though. They are fading a bit. I think it's time to part ways with these because I don't think I've worn them this summer and they are a summer trouser so goodbye. These as well, I think I'm going to get rid of these. These were a part of a set, I think it's time to get rid of these. There is a big mark over them as well that just won't come out. I used to love those trousers though when I first got them, not anymore. Then I have pink flares, they go with one of the pink t-shirts I have. So I'm keeping those because I wear this set quite a lot. I know I'm not trying these on but the sweat coming off of me is absolutely mental. Grey flares, you got to wear them again Rhiannon? Probably not. These. They're like joggers as such. You know what, I'm going to keep these for another six months. Another pair of leggings that I haven't ever worn. I probably won't because they're she -hoo. You know what, I'll take this back. I'm going to try these again for another six months. If I don't wear them, then we can get rid of them. But until then, let's stay. Right, more trousers. Probably seen these in one of my last Shein hauls. Keep those because they're pretty brand new. These ones from Asda. One of my favourite pairs of trousers at the moment. Keeping those. Got these in Zara sale quite a while ago. I uh, absolutely love them. But they are fraying quite a lot inside. And this wee bit at the front, it's like all fraying. But I'm still going to keep them because I love them. Pair of black and white clots. I do really like these. But I just like never reach for them, but I do like them. No, I'm going to keep these. These are pretty new as well, but I'm just like. I don't know, do they fit, do they not? Like, I know I've got cycling shorts on, but that shouldn't really matter. Do you see my problem? Like, I really do like them. They are tight, they've got pockets, winner for me, but I'm like, I don't know. And then I'm like, do I keep them in case I lose weight? These trousers are a part of a set. I'm actually gonna try these on because I've had them on once and they were really, really long, like they're, Really high waisted. They're really long and I'm like, am I gonna wear these again? Like let's be real. Right, these are my favourite trousers ever, like ever, but the last time I wore them, like I've wore the shower with these, but the last time I wore them, like they all pointed out that there was like you can't even see it, but there's like ladders across the bum. <sighs> I think it may be time to part with them. I've ugh, they've done me well. My favourite trousers ever of the way they fit. And I mean, I only got them last year, so I don't know why 
they're like ripped already but I think it's time to say goodbye to those. And here's the other pair of trousers that go with that shirt. I'm gonna try and sell these. Same with these, like I got these for one night out. The leopard print. But I actually don't think I'm gonna wear them again, so get rid of those. These on the other hand, I absolutely adore these. Had them on once. I'm gonna pockets, God's sake. Nah, I'm gonna keep these. Right, I'm coming back over here. We'll need to deal with the moon face lighting. I'm on a time crunch now though. I have put my dinner in the air fryer, so I have about 25 minutes to finish off the trouser part, but we only really have jeans and these wee bits of trousers. I only wore these the other day, they're like cord trousers, so I'm gonna keep them because I wore them the other day. I do like them, they're comfy as in hun. Then we have two pairs of these shorts actually. They're like the longer shorts, um, and then we have the black ones as well. Then we have this skirt, I have wore this Quite a lot, I got it for going on holiday. It's like um, just a wee denim skirt with like, what do you call that? Paper bag waist. Right, and then we have two pairs of like leather trousers. These are more of a trouser type, but I need to tie them at the side and it looks a bit daft. They are really nice, so I really, really like them. They're like straight legged, but no, I'm kind of sick of tying them. And there's my battery flashing again. Right, actually, I think I'm going to keep them. I do wear them quite a lot. I will get rid of them when I find another pair that I like. So I might go actually onto Boohoo. I bought these quite a while ago, that's the only thing. These bottle green leather trousers for Primark. I bought these for like £3 in the sale. Absolutely unreal. They're just a wee bit big, but not too big that it would put me off. And I always seem to forget about these. These are black leather joggers. I'm going to put those at the top so I remember I have these. Yeah, I have these, Rhiannon. Bloody made them. These are the trousers I'm going to be getting my day. It's such a shame because I've had them on once. Absolutely gorgeous, Faye Primark, got them in the sale. Went on one night out with them. Uh, yeah, that is where they ripped on a night out. And I, I thought oh, I finished my night. That didn't ruin my night, didn't go home. Um, I finished my night with a big hole in the ash of my trousers. Right, jeans, black skinnies, I wear those basically every day. Mum jeans, we're weed up in them. I have two pairs similar to this, but I have worn them recently, so I'll be keeping those obviously. These blue skinny jeans, I need to fix them. Needs a wee stitch in the bum. Then I have these black skater slash mum jeans. I do really like them actually. These ones used to be my favourite mum jeans ever, but I think it may be time to get rid of them. The holes in them are a bit extreme and excessive, and I'm going to get rid of them. Never thought I'd see the day because they, are, they were honestly my favourite jeans, but the rips in them are a bit excessive, and no, no for me anymore. And these, they still have the tag on them. They're like acid wash, they've got a wee chain. I'm going to wear these to work tomorrow, see how I like them, and then I can decide um, if I'm keeping them or getting rid of them. Okay, so this is what the wardrobe looks like now that I've had a clear out. I'm glad that it's done. So I'm going to go and have dinner and then I'll be back and we can go and do the other wardrobe and hopefully my other camera battery's charged by then so my camera doesn't run out halfway through because we still have quite a bit of clothes to go through. Right, so here I have quite a lot of jumpers. One wardrobe left, and it's like all my jackets and all my shirts. I mean, I have a lot. That's all the shackets I'm getting rid of. I knew I wouldn't get rid of them a lot because I love them all. Let's make piles of what's going where. Probably not going to sell a lot in Depop. I, um, I've been getting quite lazy with it. I actually have quite a few things to actually put on. So 
So these are the finishing piles. That is going on Depop, Charity Shop and Bin. Considering how much stuff I actually had, I think I've done good. As I said throughout this video, I'm leaving a few items, well, more than a few items, for six months to see if I wear them. And if not, I will film another video in six months and get rid of all those items so I can hold myself accountable and you can hold me accountable too. Um, so that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too boring. But I think videos like this honestly make you more motivated to actually do it. Like, I really couldn't be bothered having a clear out. But the minute I said I would make any video, I was more motivated to do it. Strange. Don't know how that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing me trying on the majority of my clothes and getting rid of some of my clothes. Um, so, don't forget to like and subscribe. I could really use your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!